also known as the butt shaker. Do you know what an audio transducer is? Let's find out. So this is an audio transducer. What it does, it transfers energy to solid objects. By the looks of this, it looks like a weird hockey puck, rather larger than a hockey puck, but it kind of reminds me of that with weird fins for cooling and whatnot. But this thing is actually made out of metal, and the bottom of it is made out of bottle cork type of material. Of course, some of these will vary in shapes and sizes. So what it does, it transfers low frequency audio signals into vibrations, which vibrate through the back of this. If you were to tap it like this, you can feel that there is a vibrating cone inside, which inherently with the connection of the subwoofer connection only. So keep in mind, it needs a low frequency audio in order to work properly. And you connect simple speaker wire to both of these terminals. As you can see, it's a simple negative and a positive, something that you would use for a speaker. And that's exactly it. Whatever you have connected to your subwoofer, you would connect to this and let it share the same power. This particular one is only 50 watts, so it doesn't draw much more power than, than a typical subwoofer that's not of high power. So 50 watts is very little when it comes to the power draw, and it's also for ohms. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description below. But it's very simple to install. You just have to make sure it's connected to the solid surface like so. You use four screws, you screw it in really tight, these are just some examples on where and how to connect this transducer. You can connect it to the bottom of just a simple chair, make sure it's wood on the bottom. Connect the screws underneath, make sure it's wood. You can also connect it on a lazy bar or a couch. Just again, make sure it's wood and the screws are not too long so you don't get yourself poked. And if you really want to, you can connect it to a desk via a audio receiver. And, uh, but I, this is not something I would suggest, but if you really wanted to, you can certainly do so. i leave it up to you. And from the looks of this one here, you can tell that I've used it for a long time. I've had a lot of fun from it because it uses your low frequency sound to create vibrations that feel just like a competition subwoofer vibrations. So let's say you're sitting in a, you know, fancy home theater and your seat vibrates from the low frequency. This one actually feels even more responsive in cases depending on how you mount it to a solid surface. So you can imagine, you put this here, and then there's a low thump. The transducer will transfer all of that to the surface that it's mounted to. So that's what the audio transducer is in a nutshell, or in this case, in a metal shell. They're usually very affordable, and you can always find them on Amazon. There's a link in the description box below.